Okay, in this section I am going to introduce what exactly are arrays in JavaScript. So first of all, an array is a very simple variable which can hold multiple values. So whenever I say multiple values, you can literally have more than one value to be stored in a single variable. And whenever you would like to store multiple values, each of those particular values, whatever you are going to store, will be assigned into their respective positions. By default, all those positions are named with respect to their numeric indexes. So for example, you can also have multiple types of values to be assigned. So this is a bit different from C or C++ or C Sharp. Like in other languages, you can always have an array of a particular data type in general. But here in JavaScript, things are a bit different. Now you can have the string, you can have an integer, you can have a boolean or a floating type variable, sorry, value. All of those particular values can go into the same array. So array doesn't really need to be confirmed with respect to the data type. So all the data types could be any type. So those values, whatever you'd like to assign, can be of various different types. But again, each of those particular values will be assigned to the respective positions. And there is one particular property called length, so which essentially gives the number of elements or number of items available in a particular array. So in this case, I can say ar1.length, so which is essentially nothing but you can get the count or number of elements available in that particular array to be returned. And once that particular value is getting returned from the property, you can assign to a variable or you can alert it or you can reuse it further. So length is a particular property for an array which essentially gives us the number of items available in an array. Okay, so how do we access each and every item in an array once it has been declared and initialized? The easiest way, you can always have a for loop which goes from index 0, so which is nothing but the first position, or the first indexed position of an array till to the length. So length is whatever we have been calculating earlier using AR1.length. So you can essentially provide AR1.length right in here. And I can say 0 to the length. And while the loop gets iterated, you can always get a particular array item by referring to the array name. In this case, it is ARY, but it could be AR12. So array of that particular index whatever you are going to use so if i value 0 you are essentially getting arof 0 which is nothing but the first element for the next iteration i value could be 1 if such is the case you are getting arof 1 in this case it is going to be 2500 which gets assigned to array item so in that way you can have a for loop which can essentially give us all those particular items or you can parse those items from the array directly so we can have a demo now so as part of this demo i will be looking into how to declare an array how to initialize an array with multiple values and how to parse an array so in this case whenever i say parsing how to display all the values in an array Okay, so let us start by creating a new HTML file. So in this case, I would like to say something like 01. Okay, first of all, I would like to have a button. And I would like to have a caption, something like show array or something and on clicking of that one I would like to say display array function needs to be executed so this is the function which I need to write right now so I would like to start with script and here I would like to create an array so this is the variable ar1 and I would like to say something like it can hold four values by default so whenever I mention as 4, which means the index starts from 0 and ends at 3. 
So now I can say air 1 of 0, which is nothing but the first position, can have a value of something like zag 1. And similarly, I can have four values, but the indexes are going to be different in one way or another. So, and uh, for a change, I would like to have some other value to be displayed there, something like this. So this is how I can have a particular array to be declared and then I can have those particular values to be initialized accordingly. So once I have all of those, now I can have a particular function which is essentially anything but display array. I would like to declare that particular function. So this is the function which gets executed whenever I click on this particular button. So. As part of this one, first of all, I would like to get the length of the array, which means number of elements. So in this case, AR1 dot length. So I get the length. And before even displaying, I would like to have a particular HR, which is nothing but a line. And on top of that, I would like to have a div tag something like results do. So I would like to have all the array elements to be displayed inside this div tag. So in order to achieve that first of all I should get a handle of this one which means I should be able to refer this div directly in my JavaScript. So for that purpose I would like to have same kind of variable called results div and however in order to get the reference out of that one, I will be using document dot get element by id and then I'm going to give the same element. So this actually searches for the div element which has got that particular id. So once it finds it, that particular div will be available in the form of a reference in this variable. So once I get that now I need to parse through the array. So for that purpose I will be writing integer. So variable i equal to starting from 0 till to the end i++. plus plus. So this is the for loop which is essentially used to parse through each and every element available in the array. So index starts from 0 which means right from 0 n which is nothing but 4 in this case so even though it is 4 I said less than so it will be 4 minus 1 always so it is going to 3 so 0 to 3 is essentially nothing but 4 so I would like to create a new div for each and every particular element I get inside the array so that new div will be added as a child div to this results div so I will say variable new div equal to document dot create element and I would like to create a new div element in this case and now this new div will be having the content as something like item plus i dot to string of and dot to string is ar1 of i so this is important so this is exactly where I am trying to access the array and I am getting the value from 0 so if the value is 0 I am getting ar of 0 which is nothing but jag1. For the next iteration I am going to get i value as 1 so this will be automatically error of 1. So this is just some kind of understanding on how it is really wanting to show. So as the index is going to start from 0 I would like to have plus 1 to be provided so that it will be making much more readability sense. So I can say item 1 of 4 is going to be the first item. Next again item 2 and so on. So once I have the new div created I need to have this new div to be added to results div. So for that purpose I will be writing something like results div dot append child and I can say new div. So what I'm doing here is that to this results div 
I'm adding a child which is nothing but a new div so this div is stored in new div and I'm having the content as such so once I have everything in place I can just save it it's already saved so now I can just open my Chrome browser and see how it is going to look like so I have a button and the moment I click on that wow I ran into an error so let me quickly check what is the error oh error one at length is not a function okay so there is a mistake I actually put brackets I don't need those brackets so that is the error it is a property but not a method so that was the error so let me again rerun it I close this now I click show add and now you can see all of those elements have been added successfully. Mm -hmm.